man. He, he's a great fullback, but yeah. he's never healthy, man. Yeah. And you've got Gusto there. Eventually, he's going to figure out his body. I'm already yeah. hearing Chelsea fans saying he's the best player in the world. I don't know if they're being reactionary or what. I'll be but... honest, I've said those words this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> he said Ned, but you said Modric. Bro, do you know what you know know sh- players is. won the Ballon d'Or? You know, we don't need a goal scorer to win the you league. You didn't win the league last That's season. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> but you don't need a goal scorer. We need what are you talking about? It's like those guys that I've never been with a 10 before. Like, you know what I'm saying? Can you move to it? You don't know. I'm trying. You know I'm trying. I will do my best. <laughs> so I know. The Premier League Roundup is another weekly episode we are doing today. We have got me and my co-host, Ayo, repping this side of the table. On the opposite side, we've got our lovely guest. We've got Chelsea fan, Ali. Come on. Three on a row. Three on a row. Yo, <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. That might that's, be in the stats. That's, that's, that's Three and three. Three, three and three. That's three crazy. Three. And also coming back onto the channel, we got JFTV, Luca. Thank, Thank you for coming. Appreciate, 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 appreciate it. Appreciate. Yes, appreciate it. How has the uh, sabbatical been? I've seen you going away on these American tours, yeah. going to Italy and all <laughs> that stuff. How's your accent? How's yeah. your accent? Yeah. yeah. My American accent, man. But it was a good trip, man. Come back from Italy as well, watch Juventus PSV and, uh, and Juventus Napoli, which were some Decent. good experiences. So you got some man. proper games out of yeah, the... Yeah, some uh, great games. And uh, yeah. hopefully more as well this season, hopefully. Yeah, okay, okay. Is that one of your like sort of yearly, New Year's resolutions? Yeah, definitely. Every single year I try to go to more games. Okay. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this season can be the record so far. Oh, mm. brilliant, brilliant. What's your one New Year's resolution coming? Well, I know it's still ages away, but I thought I'd just ask everyone 100k on um, TikTok TikTok yeah, yeah I mean TikTok's uh, blowing up but yeah. also don't forget to vote for us on the football uh, content yeah. awards make sure you get us as the best newcomers, newcomers. please yeah. link will be in the We're description the new again. Star Boys in town yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's just hope that let's hope that we'll be there Sitting down, we'll and then we'll be like, yes. we'll be there. We will be there. We will be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's what I'm saying. We will be there. Yeah. yeah, of course we will. Yeah, definitely vote for us. So let's start the episode. Mm. Starting off with Ali's team, Chelsea, mm. probably the most informed team in the country right now, I would say. I don't yeah, think yeah, that's yeah. hard to back that. That's yeah. right. Yeah, 4 yeah. 2 win against Brighton. Ali, how do you feel about the game? I'm hearing they're talking about the title races. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you but, seeing what Mareska's cooking? Uh, man? Yeah. Let's be real with it. Like we're actually doing our thing right now. Chelsea are playing good football, and we're not. We're not even up to full speed, in it. Jackson still got levels to go. Sancho still got to get his first goal. Madueke, Mudrik. Defense. How do you feel about that defense today? Defense. If we actually look at, look at the game, the defense was good, didn't it? It was literally two Sanchez mistakes. Sanchez is a big problem if we mm. don't get top four or challenge the he's going to be a big issue. part in it yeah, okay. yeah, yeah he needs to maybe this new December, keeper we brought in January yeah, yeah, yeah we need to look at yeah just do that changeover in it get a mm. new keeper in get somebody else a chance okay. and then I think we can really push we'll be that we'll be that team in it in the title race like if anyone slips up and Man City are already looking a bit shaky with Rodri Arsenal uh, yeah we'll get look at that bubble yeah. jobs here and there so you know what I mean <laughs> this guy. if anyone slips we're going to be there okay okay and I just want to talk about Levi Colwell and Wesley Fofana as well do you think that's your solidified yeah, yeah. set that, back they're forming a good partnership okay. if, if it wasn't for Sanchez making those mistakes that would have been another clean sheet mm. I think that would have been three on the bounce okay. clean sheet so it's like they're, they're, they're slowly building Fofana's he's aggressive and Colwell's a bit more like reading of the game so they're a good partnership in it and yeah. with Cucurella on that side Gusto slash James when he's back if he's that's back. a very good defense if yeah, you ask yeah. me and I, I, said when he's back. <laughs> I said if he's back yeah. 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 when he's back you can't back, trust him take yeah. your time Reece James yeah, Gusto's got back. things covered in it take your time come back when you're ready well at this rate Luca what do you reckon when it comes to that uh, right back position if James is back fit do you even think Gusto is allowed to even be on the bench. I feel like that's such a disrespect to how great mm. Gusto is doing mm-hmm. this yeah. season. Bro, you can't drop Gusto if James comes back straight away. You can't because nah, he's been he's been too solid so far. Yeah. It'd be disrespectful yeah, to him. James, you man. You I know. Yeah, but no, like, he's gonna come back the same player. Bro, Chelsea he, fans love Reese James. They love like, him. Look at Reese James. Look at this guy. Bro. That's his guy. You know. They all love him, and I respect it. I respect the dedication. I respect the loyalty. But at the end of the day, you got to you got to put out a team to win. And if Gusto's playing good, bro, there's no point dropping him. No, away. no, no, not way, at all. Man. Gusto is actually class as well it's on the ball. He's very technical. I love him. Yeah. Yeah. There's too yeah. many ballers in this team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've been saying it since last season. Like, Don't judge us in it. Let them cook. Let them get time to build. Yeah. And now you're starting to see these players, isn't it? Yeah, I love him. I love him, definitely. But I feel like, do you know who I compare Reese James to? Go on. 
Jack Wilshire. Jack the boy. Oh, yeah, that's even that's disrespectful to Jack. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's disrespectful to Jack. Just no, no like, I'll explain. For I'll Have some explain. respect for him, man. No, I'll explain. <laughs> I'll explain if you want. I'll explain you want. What's going to happen yeah. is the same thing with Jack Wilshire. Momentum, momentum, injury, drops it down again. Hmm. He's off for the rest of the season. Yeah. Momentum, 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 drops it off again. I just feel like you're going to love him so much that you can't let him go. That's oh. what Arsene Wenger actually ended up doing with Jack Wilshire. Yeah, 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 but we exactly. don't need to let him go, in it. we got Gusto. So it's like, you yeah, can just play. Yeah, no, play. Like, Rich James, if you want to play 10 play, games though. a season, play your 10 games a season. Gusto play the other That's 28. That's the club captain, you know? Do you think hey, compared man, to his, what it is. Do you think compared to his sibling, he wants to be the worst sibling? Do you know what I mean? No, but the thing is, a fully fit Reese James is the best right back in the world for me. Nah, but that we I don't think that's true because I've never seen that. But yeah. he's never fit, bro. He's never fit. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen him. Like, yeah. 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 That's how they say it, bro. Fully, fully fit. They don't say Reese James is the best right back in the world. I need an FF, man. Bro, they always use they're smart with the terminology, these Chelsea fans, man. Let's not even focus on the players that aren't playing, because the players that aren't playing are so good that it's like those are just extras right now. It reached James. Mm. In fact, he's our only injury, so it's, it's not as if we got injury problems. It's just mm. Reese James. We have got to be patient with him, unfortunately, and he looks like he's worth it, isn't it? Mm. Like we can wait for him. <laughs> so was Jack Wilshere. That's why I'm comparing <laughs> like, it to Jack. Boy to boy, because I know a lot about injury players. Would yeah. you go back and change it? Boy anything? to boy, let me just let you know that there will come a time it will hurt. But you're gonna have to let him go. Yeah, yeah. But I'd rather let yeah, go, we'll... knowing that we waited for him, than we let go of him Sometimes... this season. Let's say we let go of him this season. Not this season. Yeah. season. No, 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 I'm no, talking no, five years. Three years. Yeah. I ain't gonna talk in five years. You know. Imagine he goes somewhere else and slaps. Your your level your levels are going up slowly, and there'll come yeah. a time where you look at his team and be like, you can't fit in no more, bro. Yeah. yeah. Well, let me yeah. ask you this year: if oh. in the summer a club comes fifty million for his James and sell him, no. I'm t- I'm You're lying him to yourself, though. That's what that. he's doing. I, I would, I, like from my perspective, I would sell him. Bro. He, he's a great fullback, but yeah. he's never healthy, man. Yeah. And you got gusto there. Eventually. He's gonna figure out his body, or like he's gonna figure out this problem with the injuries, oh, isn't it? He's still young though. He's like twenty four. Nah, twenty four. He's young. He's getting close to his prime, bro. Yeah. he's getting close to his prime, and that's yeah. why we can't. Once he Low hits, key, he can't go by me. He's, he's, he's not that young though, bro. He's missed it. He's missed it. You never know. Might even just need a little long spell. Uh, <laughs> okay. Back yeah. to wiggle. Yeah, full yeah, yeah, exactly. Back to wiggle. <laughs> but I feel like there's a proper star boy now that you guys should be very. And you definitely are. Our group chat that we're a part of sort of yeah. went a bit lively with how they're Palmer. talking about him. Yeah. Cold Palmer. Cold. Go four and four. The first player to score four goals in a half. <laughs> Is he the best player in the league right now? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt, the best player. Shaking. There's a shake of the head. Give me one player you'd swap I'm, with him right now, in it in, in the Prem. Harland. Oh. I hear the Harland talk to yeah. If we're talking cool. about... I love that you mentioned it. If we're talking about footballers, like, yeah, you're but not putting Haaland in. I hear, I hear the, the footballers on the eye test, but Haaland is arguably the best goal. Well, no, not in the, at the minute, he's the best goal scorer in the world. Yeah. And he's on course to become one of the best goal scorers of all yeah. time. So for me, who would I rather have in my team? I'd take Haaland. But overall game, they're different positions as well. So yeah. Palmer needs more to his game yeah, to yeah, have yeah. an impact on the team. But I don't know. I like Palmer a lot, but I wouldn't have him over Haaland. But even if you look at Haaland, sorry, Go on. he's got. I think Palmer's got like fifty goals and assists in fifty-three mm. games. Mm. Yeah, he's not, yeah. Not, that's that's Haaland numbers in it, and Haaland doesn't get assists, so his is just pure goals. Yeah, but you're you're yeah, competing yeah, yeah, with him yeah. in it. So yeah, no, hundred percent, he's competing. And what I like right now is fact, like thankfully you brought him up because if you did it, I was going to say yeah. Haaland as well. But the difference is. One's Ronaldo, one's Messi. If you make, if that makes sense, Haaland is Ronaldo in terms of worked up for it. Yeah, worked yeah, up, worked yeah. up, worked up. Oh, and then he's got, te- and then you got Palmer, like Messi. I'm not comparing them to Messi and Ronaldo. No, you can, bro. I'm no, I'm not, not doing it. You no, no, <laughs> see what I mean? But yeah, like I'm just saying, like in terms of his ability, his playmaking, his playmaking his and, yeah, 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 dribbling. Like yeah. it's got, he's mm. got the natural raw ability to be that player. And mm. it, you know what? If you want that from a player, that's obviously brilliant. But there is a world where both of Haaland and Palmer can exist. But I just feel. Like, Imagine that team. I think, yeah, it would be a fantastic team. I just feel like position for position, Palmer for someone else within that number 10 role, I definitely wouldn't switch him with someone else. If, if, if nah, I was talking about maybe another Maybe if De Bruyne is fully fit. Yeah, and, like, exactly. That's a different count. conversation. That's a different convo, but at the minute, you've got to go you got Palmer. you got to go Palmer. Yeah. But yeah, right now, like in terms of player for player, mm-hmm. I'm taking Haaland because goals mean 
winning mm, winning yeah. means points points mean winning the league again mm. so I just feel like yeah I, I would currently go with Haaland but Palmer definitely up there is he so would you say PFA player of the year oh, it's coming the, it's the coming. kid is genuine you might even be talking about Ballon d'Or's by the end of Ooh, next season isn't it? wow the kid is gen- he genuinely oh, amazes yeah. me <laughs> like, every time I think oh yeah Palmer's see, good see, wait, wait, wait. he shows another level of Sorry. this guy's ridiculous isn't it like his effectiveness in matches big games he's not going to hide Euros final he came on or what you didn't want to start me Say so, no, and I'll come and score a goal, get you guys back into the game. Yeah. He's been doing it for us for, from last season, and now this season it's looking like, even though teams are doubling up on him, fouling him a lot, he's still turning up. Four goals in one half, you man. Yeah, that's that's Four the, goals that's, in one half. It's never been done. It's, so it's, it's impressive. Impressive. Yeah, it is impressive. That's but go on, Luke. Oh, Ballon d'Or. We're talking about, if you're talking about competing for the Ballon d'Or, you need to play at the highest level, and Chelsea are not in the Champions League to even yeah, to it, prove that week in week out. We're not in the Champions League this season. Yeah, next season. In the next season. Yeah, so in, maybe in two years competing, oh, but I'm already hearing Chelsea fans saying he's the best player in the world. I don't know if they're being reactionary or what. I'll be honest, I've said those words this weekend. I've said those words this weekend. Paul Palmer might just be the best player in the world right now. Because what he's doing is nuts. Man, see that free kick? Yeah, no. Class, like yeah. It was a good free kick. So, yeah. yes, like that, would you say Palmer, Palmer or Vinicius Junior then? Right now? Yeah. I wouldn't swap Palmer for any player in the planet right now. Pa- Palmer not or Bellingham then? Palmer. Why are you laughing? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. The thing right is, now. you think is, I think um, last year, I sat down there and I was like, <laughs> no, I sat down there and I was like, Palmer could reach bell levels. People looked oh, at me yeah, like, I remember people this looked at me like, what are yeah, you talking yeah, about? That's that's genius. Genius. I said, I've seen this. I was like, bro, I've seen the way he plays and the output. I was like, bro, it just needs a kickstart. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And look at that, four goals. People were people are probably thinking, how's he so how is he like yeah. Palmer? Yeah. Like, I think because Haaland to me is a waste man <laughs> I ain't gonna I ain't you're gonna, gonna say that because he always scores yeah, on you I ain't gonna cut I ain't even gonna cut I ain't even gonna cut you Gabriel I ain't even gonna cut that man's nice. talking about haha be humble shut up bro. <laughs> ain't that kind of thing but Palmer he's gifted and I thank God he left Pep when he did no because he didn't leave Pep we ain't seeing this bro yeah, yeah, we are yeah, not yeah. seeing this that's fair four goals and a half yeah. Pep is gonna allow that for <laughs> Bro, else look, what, look at what's happening to Fiddle Fodler. <laughs> Whatever his name is, Phil number 47. Foden. Yeah, Phil Foden. Him. He's been yeah. on the bench for how many games now? Mm. He's not getting what he needs. And he won. And that was the last year's PFA play of the year. That's yeah. last year's PFA play of the year. Yeah. Imagine. Mm. And he's not up to scratch. He hasn't done anything in the Premier League this season. That's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Come to on, be a PFA bro. player of the year, them to be a bench is just I crazy. think where Chelsea are right now yeah. is even it benefits Palmer. There's not that much pressure at the moment. Mm. You just need to get your top Fun four. pressure. You need to do you know what I'm saying? But then when the big dogs start coming in and when they oh, start man. looking at Chelsea like, okay, no, let's start no, 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 no. low blocking them. Wrong, let's man. that's that's it what we'll see. Wrong. It could be a bit tough. That's yeah, it could, but I'm I'm looking forward to that. Let me tell you why the kids going to the very top, innit? I don't know if you see his interviews and all of that. Because he did pitch. this, yeah. No, the kid, he genuinely doesn't care about like, what he's doing. He doesn't feel the pressure in it. He's just playing football. Yeah. Like, so no matter what level he came on that Euros final, he's not thinking, oh, I'm on the Euros. No, I just think I'm about to go there, score a goal. That's what I do. Mm. It's light work for him. And he's not going to be phased as we get to the Champions League finals and the semi finals. <laughs> yeah. When your boy starts disappearing wow, in those wow. stages, Palmer's just going to be like, yo, who, this who, is... Who are you putting? Who are you Brave to say he's getting to a Champions League final with your team, bro. But you like, can't be no, 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 yeah. like coming in. Sorry. The players that we've got coming into this team that's already looking good, we're going to have a couple Ballon d'Or contenders is, the in the next is, yeah, few years. With my boy, yeah. My boy, yeah. Who's your boy, Saka? Yeah, yeah obviously, we've missed... Man, Euro, still talking about We've missed him. Euro final pens. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So we've got an abuse, but we're still there. We don't embarrass ourselves I like think, that around here, bro. I think you even bringing up my boy just shows there's a benchmark. You get what I'm saying? You guys are trying to... I want to make it clear that he's overtaken. No, 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 no. You, you, brought, you brought him up because you know that, yeah, we need to be better than him before we can get... St- start, be humble. Start talking. Be humble. You, be you, humble. Know, you know me. I can't be humble. My boy is always there. <laughs> Consistency is always there. He got me like, my boy is always there. He's always going to be shining. Bro, your boy himself is humble. He he's always going to be come. shining. You get what I'm saying? Like, obviously, if these four goals have gassed you guys up a bit. But go again next week. before he's got an hat for England before. Palmer's got three hat-tricks for Chelsea. Does Palmer start, start for England? Boy, he scored in the Euros final. Where was your boy in the Euros final? Bro, my boy Where got Where was in the Euros my final? Got, bro, <laughs> the pre assist uh, pa- Palmer's oh, goal. Oh, they're flexing pre-assist around right? yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean to do? Yeah. Man. If it wasn't for his ball, it's tough times, if it wasn't bro. for his ball, come on, let's not do this. You you and I both know, we spoke about it in the car, we both know they complement each other. They don't play in the same position. No, Palmer's no, more no. of a 10-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like as a winger. Yeah. Mm. You're meant to be, your enemy shouldn't be my boy. 
boy. <laughs> your enemy is folded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your enemy, you shouldn't be yeah, my boy. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You bringing up my boy in conversation, my boy's looking at you like, bro, we're not even nah. in the same position. Yeah, you know nah, what I'm nah, nah, like, nah. I've won the PFA player, um, Young Player of the Year already. You just won that. It's like, mm. yeah, like, mm. just follow my footsteps. We're here, for, you know all the, we're here for all the just, fake uh, star boys. All the fake star boys out there. See, I knew the four goals was going to gas them. I knew the four goals was going to gas them. When I saw it, I was like, these men are going to get gassed. These four goals. And he scored a free kick as well. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, them men are going to get happy. World, yeah. I didn't even know he had free kicks See, in his locker, really. Yeah, exactly. And he's gone he's and got shown that. Yeah, exactly. I, don't think he, I don't think he has corner, corner set pieces. Yeah, no. He takes off set pieces. Do yeah. you know what he said after the game? Oh. Could have scored five or six. <laughs> Recognise, yeah. Recognise. <laughs> Saka would be thinking it. I'm so glad. Look at these guys. There's levels to this team. Could have gone five or six. All right, let's quickly end it there then. I just want to ask Luca because everyone's sort of done their prediction for Chelsea. Where do you predict Chelsea will finish? this season I'm a guy that likes to stick to his predictions before the season starts so Ooh. I had Chelsea top four which was actually quite an unpopular opinion oh, before yeah. the season started I felt like a lot of people were saying Chelsea won't get top four I don't think you'll challenge for the league but I'll be so real no, no unfortunately not we'll but I think one. you know maybe in your head <laughs> <laughs> but no I think fourth or third okay. I'll go fourth okay cool alright perfect let's move on to the previous winners of the Premier League we'll talk about Manchester City versus Newcastle mm. uh, su- su- for some surprising 1-1 but then again we already know the stats about how they are without Rodri uh, no wins without Rodri and they're carrying on that trend again 1-1 draw against them do you see now the opportunity for Arsenal Liverpool, I'll, I'll say Chelsea because Ali's here, because otherwise it'll be bad. At me. <laughs> otherwise it'll be bad at me, isn't it? Otherwise it'll be bad at me. So, do you see this as an opportunity for now for Arsenal, Liverpool, and Chelsea to just sort of let's push him, let's push him, let's see how far we can get him before? Well, Rodri's not coming back, is he? He's no, not coming back, no, is he? Well. No. So yeah. So is this our opportunity now to actually win the medal for the Premier League? Honestly, yeah, I think it shouldn't even shouldn't be a race. Mm-hmm. The minute it's a race, that's when C have a upper hand. You, yeah. have, to, you have to go the Liverpool route. Just be, start be winning all your games by December. Yeah. It should be like 10, 12 points clear, man. Mm. When you start getting to a race with Pep, he's going to find a way to tweak it. Yeah, okay. yeah just, you just got to blow him out quickly. Yeah. Like, don't drop any more points now. Okay. Win, 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 win. And I want to say something with their team. If they were focusing on the game, should have been focusing more on the game and I of grinding interviews to almost all their players talking about dark arts. Oh, the Arsenal game. And all yeah. that. Like, they should have just focused on the game. Like, yeah. Newcastle's a tough place to go, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That atmosphere is crazy, bro. Mm. Mm. And they were trying to just little boy and try to get away. <laughs> They've missed that midfield. It's yeah. porous, bro. I was going to, this is my it's next empty. question. Uh, I'll pass it on to Luca now. Uh, what do you think the best midfield three is now without Rodri and the team? <laughs> what, what do you reckon you would go with? To be honest, I reckon City will sign someone in January anyway. Really? But yeah, I just feel like with Rodri, what he does in front of the defence, and also I think an underrated part of his game is how he marshals the defence. Like a lot of the time an Akanji will come forward or a Diaz yeah. will come forward and he'll tuck in at centre-back. Mm. I think Kovacic in that Regista role, he can't really do that no. to the highest of ability. Gundo? Do you see Gundo as someone he, that's he looked, he's versatile? Mate, he looked way off <coughs> against yeah. Newcastle. Mm. Like, I, I like Gundogan, but he looked way off. Uh. It. Like There was a chance where I think Bernardo Silva cut it back and he just... He, he messed up the first time shot and then there was another one where Harlem was in and he tried to dink the keeper Yeah, I don't know he doesn't look like the same player he once was maybe I see a Kovacic Gundogan De Bruyne if he's fit midfield but like I don't know I, I think they'll try yeah. signing someone in January it's a very poor midfield three yeah, right now I think, yeah. definitely it's a I big think, loss right yeah, big it's loss. a big jump from like the S category yeah. if you're doing that tier list to like a B category isn't it because mm. of these players but you're very thoughtful. You got yeah, some- because he said they will sign someone. We need to understand that Pep has been, he's had like a few misses in midfield. Mm-hmm. Kevin Phillips, that guy for Matthias Nunes. You don't always get it right first time yeah. when it comes to the midfield. And these are actually good players. Nunes yeah. is a good player. Man. Yeah. He's so away if he does that get band. someone in midfield, will that player be able to, as you said, marshal the I'm, way Rodri I'm did. thinking like a Zuba Mendy, maybe. Because yeah. mm-hmm. I feel like he probably yeah. regrets not going to Liverpool. Maybe if Pep comes come around see, knocking, he could come see and be some, whack, you know. He could, but like I think he'll take that chance just because I think they need someone with that Rodri profile. Like, yeah, especially if they want to challenge for the league, go far in the Champions League. I think they'll struggle 
massively. So they them. need a signing, basically. Need, for me, yeah. me personally, I see them going for Zabamendi in January. Ali, what about you? Who do you see them signing or what do you think that midfield problem, how we should sort that midfield problem at Man City? I think they definitely need a signing, like Lucas said, in it, and no. that Zubimendi, I feel like for being his understudy at Spain, probably the best mm. suited player to go there in it and do yeah. that job. Kovacic, he ain't a title winning midfielder in it. Like, <laughs> he's good and he does a job, yeah. but he's not the difference in it. He's not going to He's not going to save your team going going in defence and he's not going to make the difference going forward. No. It? De Bruyne is barely fit these days and Gundogan, you don't know what we're going to get out of Gundogan this season. So yeah. if anyone's going to take the title from Pep, this is the season, isn't it? So yeah. if it's not done this season, mm-hmm. but... Then you're never going to win it's it, are you? for some, man. Yeah, yeah, it's it's well, I think, yeah, I think this is where the spotlight is on Arteta now because I'll move it swiftly on to Arsenal. I'll ask you some more questions. Oh, go on, yeah, go on. ahead. Yeah, go if ahead. If you guys were City fans, what would be going through your mind right now? Are you going to be thinking, oh, Pep's always done it, we'll find a way. Are you actually looking and be like, it's, look, it may be it. this may be it this season may not retain yeah and I, I wouldn't even be fast in it I'll just mm. be thinking that like, eventually it was we're not going to win it in it and mm. it's like if we don't win it now that's the clear reason but you can already see that yeah they'll rebuild and yeah. get going again next season so it's like yeah. you can't really cry or be too upset <laughs> or blame Pep or you know what I mean Rodri's uh, one of the best players in the world right now and yeah. he's out for the season so it's going to it's going to affect your team quickly for you yeah well. I agree yeah. I think it's yeah. just like the Roger injury is super unlucky, but it's a massive blow mm. to their team. I think they're not really the front runners anymore. I think the pressure's on wow. City, but they're not the favourites. But then again, they rode their luck a little bit in the last few years. Like two years ago, it should have been Arsenal's title. Yeah. Let's not forget when they went to West Ham, back they to bowled back. it there. Should have like, won it back to back. I, I don't know about last season, but definitely two seasons ago, definitely I think Arsenal season. should have definitely won it. So I think it's maybe mm. the City's time up. But then again, you can't really bet against City. Yeah, well. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they prove everyone wrong time and time again. So it's one of those ones. It's hard to, hard to decide, really. Okay, I'll close it up on Rodri. The Ballon d'Or's coming soon. Yeah. People shouting about him as the Ballon d'Or winner, probably, should be. Where do you count upon it? Do you see it? Because oh. so, I feel like right now it's a head-to-head between Vinicius Jr. and Rodri. Who, 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 who would most, you rather? It's the most depressing Ballon d'Or <laughs> I've witnessed, bro. I, I don't even want to answer that question. <laughs> is that bad this for you? Is, this is bad, man. All right, Luca, what about you? Uh, Vinicius or Rodri? Sorry. Who will win the Ballon d'Or? Yeah. Well, I think it's already decided. Everyone's already. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. it's already been leaked, man. Yeah, has been, but, yeah. like, like, Vinny's got his golden boots out with Nike. Fabrizio's tweeted about it constantly. Oh. We know Vinny's going to win the Ballon yeah. d'Or. And like at the end of the day, he did have a good Champions League campaign. He had a great season with Madrid. But as I always said, like I don't know the the Ballon d'Or recently has just been a bit underwhelming. Yeah, it has like, been, hasn't it? Yeah, it's just like the best players in the world. Obviously, Messi and Ronaldo kind of messed up our opinions and our yes, perceptions of players because yeah. they were dropping 50, 60, 70 goals every single yeah, season. And yeah. players like Neymar, who were who would be far and away the best player in the world right now, like mm. a Neymar in the mid-2010s, yeah. he was coming third, fourth, just because of the calibre was so much higher. Yeah. I think football sort of like standardised again and normalised mm. itself almost. Mm. But um, yeah, I, I see Vinny winning it, man. Okay. And I, well, who would you would have... because. Like Lucas said, it's been leaked. Yeah. Who would you have given it to? I would have given it to Bellingham for the PR. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even talk about Bellingham. Oh, 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 commission. I've got commission on the advert. Look at this guy. Yeah. You should have known. Yeah. Like England's, England's boy. That he got known. to the Euros final. He's in the Real Madrid known. team with Fingy. I think he's got a claim just as much as Vinny mm. does to an extent, mm. isn't it? Mm. Nah. Mm. I will say, though, whoever wins it this year is the worst Ballon d'Or winner ever. Yeah. I will. I can't support that, bro. Why? Is Nedved worse? The Vinny. Look no through way. it. Look I think, think Modric's won. No, 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 no. that twice. Not really. Because no, he got to, to a World Cup final no, no, no. at least. You guys are talking about ball. He said Nedved. You said Modric. Bro, do you know what no, he's doing? Players won the Ballon d'Or. You know, Sama won the Ballon d'Or in '96. Who? Sama. I don't know who that is. He won it over Del Piero, Shearer, Ronaldo. Okay. I'm talking about there were. Won the, Champions, oh, yeah. won the Champions League that year. No, he yeah. didn't. You he won, won in '97. Yeah. yeah, he won in '96. Oh, he won in '96 yeah. before he won it. Uh, like, there have been some stinkers that won the Ballon d'Or. <laughs> so I would, I would, I wouldn't say Vinny's definitely not the worst to win the Ballon d'Or. Like even I don't know, like who else comes on the top of my head. No, bro, it's who else? It's just that one, bro. Yeah. <laughs> in recent years, maybe Benzema. In, 
No, 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 no
add to the playmaking. This is why you're, this this is why you guys saying? aren't serious, We don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> you're taking the brother that's going to be injured half of the season See, as well. I know what's him, man, yeah? I know what's him, I know him. I know he ain't, him. He ain't, know he ain't him. as deadly as you, man, think. He is. He, he is. is. He's, he's scored. He got the shirt out and he said, bro, finally. Bro. He got the shirt out and he said, finally. Said, finally. 30 <laughs> goals in the Turkish Super League coming. And then he's going <laughs> over to Super Chelsea League. or somewhere. Any league that's got Super in there, I don't rate. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, that's fair. That is fair. I bro, agree with that. I don't, I don't think this season, if we don't get a striker, will do what needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, people say, you're just a striker. You're saying we'll get the job done, like you believe me. Give me a striker. Give me a striker. Give me, give me a striker that you think, okay, we'll change this team. I just give named you two, bro, now I think. Bro. That's the Portuguese league, bro. We've had <laughs> people come in <laughs> from that league. I can't rate that. He's doing it in Champions League as well. No. What All doesn't? of these strikers, what you know, Duran, Jackson, any of these you know, proper Durant strikers maybe, your team. Duran, maybe. Someone that's a pure finisher. You say, well, how many finishers are there that are pure finishers? You say Duran, but he's, he hasn't done it while starting because I don't I don't know you what don't he'll be like. If he could, that's the problem. I, I, yeah, I can't change, say Duran yeah. like, at the moment in time. Like, we Watkins play. more, yes. Agree with Watkins. So talking about the way you we play, the way you play, play like everyone else plays, trying to copy Man City and The way we play, the way we play, we need, we just need, I don't know, it's a you see, this type. is the problem with Arsenal it's fans. They think they're doing something special, it's innit? It's a special Everybody's type, innit? Like, like no one of us has got wallets that so we're just buying in players. Yeah, like, asylum seekers. Just, 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 just getting them all in. We ain't got that. We ain't got money back, so we need bro, to be special. Bro, you spend a lot of money, bro. Yeah, yeah, we ain't like, like, don't spend like, 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 like these, like man. We don't spend like these, man. We don't spend like these, man. We don't wait. the last few years, have, bro. We don't wait till the contract's over and we get them on the phone. We don't do that. We don't do that. Them guys you get for free are washed, bro. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. Yeah, but it's gonna be gonna be quite difficult to get the striker we want. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like in my mind, the striker we want doesn't even play football anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like there's some strikers, yeah, like back like, give me a summer at all. Like we don't really <laughs> got them no more, innit? Now we now it's just tight. It's tight. Because they're too good for all the strikers. It's tight, yeah, yeah. it's tight. Yeah. Like if we, guys, if we get one of these guys, if we get one of these guys, Sheshko. You guys wanted Shesh. We wanted him, but what happened? What he wanted to stay in. Um, I, I think Germany. his agent done a mad madness. I think with the side of the agent fee or something yeah. like that. I it's, feel like there was so, something. It's always the agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. Want, yeah. They crazy. There ain't right. that many nines in the world now, man. Bodyface. <laughs> nah, no, nah, nah, Bodyface is. He's Blavovich. not even doing well with Germany. He wanted to get him, but he didn't come that time. He wasn't mm, feeling yeah, it. What, run it back. He wasn't feeling he it, was, man. He wasn't feeling it. Yeah, he wasn't feeling them. That was before your blow up. Yeah, yeah, we told him to come through. He was like, nah, I'm going to Juventus. I'm Juventus. Can you blame him? Yeah, I do. I Juventus do, over Arsenal, man. He used to, come, he used to no. come to the Prem, man. Show us what you got, man. Okay, well, comment below what you guys think. Do you think Arsenal are going to be able to win the league? Can do we you ask feel... Ayo that question? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Do you think yes, Arsenal yeah. are going to win the league? Yes. <laughs> he, got it, you know? he doesn't look like he's, he's convinced. He's, 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 you, guys, you, have to, you have to remember, I haven't won the league in ages, you know. That's why you can't say the thing is, so The thing is, like, you're selling me to say, and I'm saying now I want to say, but it's like, if I haven't, if I can't, if I can hardly remember how I even won it that time, it's going to be hard to give you the vim you want. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you know, I hope so. It's like, those guys that oh, oh, I've never been with a 10 before like can you, can you, can you move to her though can you move to you don't know I'm because trying, you've never I'm been I will do my best but I don't know no, I don't know but I can't tell you that I can only try man we'll see in I did my thing I did my thing we'll see in okay. we'll alright what about you guys since Man City we'll did drop off is Arsenal going to win the league or are they the next up what do you feel inshallah they don't win the league <laughs> you didn't say do you want them to go to win yes okay, sorry do you think do you think they will I'll ask it like that no I don't think they will I think City is still good okay yeah. Luca what about you uh, I can't, it's hard to say now yeah to it's be too honest, early but it? I'd say if City continue this like rough patch I'd say Arsenal are the front runners that's okay. what I'll say but perfect yeah. well let's go to on say. to the front runners in Liverpool football club currently in first place uh, who did they play? I can't Wolves. remember. Ah, that's it. Yes, yeah. Wolves. Yeah. They beat Wolves. Arnie Slot and is, is working his magic. I feel like a man that's been changed since the start of the season is a Dutch midfielder by the name of Graven Birch. Mm. He's been fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fantastic little player. I feel there's someone, he's going to be someone that is showing his potential that he did during his uh, times in the Netherlands. But yeah, where do you rank Graven Gra- Gra- Birch now, guys, in terms of some of the best in the Prem? Is he up there yet? How do you feel? I need a, a, full, early to I need say. a full season. Yeah. yeah, it's too early to say. I need say. a full season. But if he keeps up this consistency, would you not reckon he can do it? 
I just feel like yeah, yeah. he's definitely got yeah. it in him, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No. he's showing that yeah. FM Wonder Kid potential that yeah. they were, they were, you know what I mean, yeah. putting on him. And he's, but he's the showing comparisons that are gonna kill him. Yeah. I've seen you know on like Twitter, they're quick. I've seen on Twitter they're like, "This is Pogba region." Oh, I said, wow. how disrespectful! Yeah. <laughs> Pogba region, yeah, that, yeah, that is crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. I said, "Why nah, are you guys nah. doing this?" So what? Do, are they seeing a co- co- coloration? Correlation? There's right? no I can't say that word. There's, they're, they're not even similar. Nah. They're not even similar. Apart from the fact they're black and they're tall, yeah. <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing. Yeah, it's not. Bro, it's not close. Yeah, it's not close. And that's the. I feel with Liverpool because they didn't get. Mm. This is twice in a row now. They didn't get the midfielder they wanted. Yeah. Any midfielder in there, they're just gonna hype yeah, that yeah. guy yeah. up okay. to whatever standard they want it to be. But I wish them the best of luck this season. Mm-hmm. They look like they're consistent to some extent. Yes. All the players know what to do. Very good yeah. system, I feel, as well. It's a bit more calm down to Klopp's run, get the ball mm. with di- direct football. I just feel like, yeah, it's a little bit more controlled. But what about Trent? Do you feel like his time at Liverpool's coming to end with that contract coming? to an end as well. Do you feel like he's seen himself maybe in a Galactico shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. I, I can see it, in it, And I feel like, because he knows his thing's limited at Liverpool, just where it's, it's Liverpool. They're not one of those top, like, Ballon d'Or winning teams, Ooh. kind of. Like, Liverpool are a big club, in it? But yeah. it's not Real Madrid, Barcelona. And okay. Trent's going to want to elevate his thing, but he's always capped at his defensive... Frailty, like, yeah. yeah, so to go there and do, he's got to go to a team like Real Madrid where it's like the glamour and the flash of what yeah. he does forward is going to get him the recognition that he deserves, maybe. Okay. What about you, Luke? How do you feel yeah. about Trent in terms of, as a right back overall and yeah, where, where his future is going to be? I think he's one of the best right backs in Prem history already, wow. if not the best, to be honest. And I think Ooh. he probably wants to go down as probably the best right back ever. And for him to do that, he needs to go to Madrid. There's no two ways about it. Liverpool. Like um, like we were saying earlier, like Liverpool, there's sort of like a ceiling there. Yeah, like they're a big club, global yeah. club, of course. But he's won everything at Liverpool now. It's not like yeah, a Steven Gerrard true. thing where he's like, I kind of have to be loyal to yeah. the club. He's done it. He's he obviously loves the club. He grew up as a Liverpool fan, but he's won the Champions League, he's won the league, he's won the Club World Cup, he's won everything mm. now. Yeah, why not make that jump to Madrid, link yeah. up with your boy Bellingham there, and yeah. try to do a madness out there? Because like at the end of the day, all eyes are on Madrid. Mm. The biggest the biggest superstars ever have played in in the La Liga at a Madrid or a Barcelona. So yeah. for me, it would make sense for him to to jump ship to Madrid. And I don't think Liverpool fans would really take it too personally. No. Plus, if it doesn't go wrong, there's that backup where he can come back to Liverpool, and I'm sure the fans will welcome <laughs> yeah. him. Uh, yeah, in warm yeah, definitely. Arms, yeah. yeah, exactly, hundred so. percent. With that contract issue, I think it's come at a good time at a good age for Trent because if he still had a bit more of a longer contract and he did one out. There's only certain teams that are buying you. You're either going PSG. I guess you could go Real Madrid, but are they going to spend that much on a defensive player? I don't know. I, I just mm. never seen it in the Maybe. Few, they've done, they've in, done it with Militao. They spent a lot, didn't they? But like not, how much was that? Though? I think it was like 60, I want to say. No way. I was think it, it 60? was. Pull it up. I, I can't remember I'm, that. I'm yeah. sure it was a lot of money for no, Militao. Well, yeah, also, defensive, keyword defensive. Trent ain't a defensive. <laughs> you know, he's, he's, he's not going he's, there to defend, bro. He's a galactic, yeah. isn't he? He brings that flash and that. Uh, yeah, he's going there to whip balls in. Score a few free kicks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's not there to defend. Nah. That's not his job. And he'll actually tear it up. I can't he, lie. Oh, he'll, he'll tear it up. He'll do there. bits. He'll do bits. Who's it the was, starting oh. right back now? Oh, oh, oh. Still oh, today. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Like He's been another consistent guy throughout the years. But it was 50 million euros. So you're talking, what, 48 million pounds? Yeah, I was close. Mm. I said 60, didn't I? So yeah. what do you think is Trent price tag right now? Yeah, yeah, what, what is his price tag? How, how long has he got left on his contract? One or two? One year. This is uh, end, bro, this this end of the season. He's going free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, then it's oh. he's, doing, he's pulling the Mbappe clock like the yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's probably gonna have a sign on for like yeah. maybe yeah. seventy five. Yeah, yeah. seventy. Oh, but I'll sign yeah, 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 I was gonna sign say. Yeah. Nah, yeah. His, his price tag's low, bro. If he's got one year yeah, left, because you got fact that you got that's a massive factor into yeah. a player's contract. Yeah, it Even does work out. A player like Trent. Yeah. Well, Mbappe did it. Why can't Trent? We knew Mbappe was always gonna do. Yeah, but Liverpool like to cash in on that. PSG can handle that, innit? That's calm. They got bread. But bro, if <laughs> Liverpool like to cash in on their yeah, player, yeah, but yeah. if he extends his contract, he's going to cost too much. He's, so if, if I yeah. reckon Perez will be like, if you want to come Madrid, you can't renew. Because yeah, 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 yeah. if he renews, P- Liverpool will want like a four, five year long term yeah. deal for them to send for 80, 90, 100 million. And Madrid ain't going to, I don't think they're going to touch that. No. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not not in his best interest to sign the contract now. Yeah, exactly. 100%. So he's probably going to leave for Run free, bro. Maybe even like, like Salah as well has got a year left. So yeah, Salah's exactly. probably going to. Him, him uh, Trent and Alisson all finish their contracts at the end of this se- yeah. season. So, That's why I look at Liverpool yeah. like, you know what I mean? You men don't get too comfy in it because mm. even come January now, all of these players are going to be looking at their next club already. No one's trying to get injured in that January to the yeah. end of the season mm. now. Now is he looking for that next contract or 
putting himself in a predicament. So mm. I think Brilliant. Liverpool are going to drop off as the season goes on. And it's because their drop off wasn't that um, long. If you look at teams like Arsenal, Chelsea, United right now, mm. the drop offs have been quite um, over a long period of time. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm has saying been a while. it gives you time to reflect, time yeah. to rebuild, time to bring in new yeah. players, yeah. all the contracts mm. and that. But with Liverpool, I think it's just one season they finished fifth and then mm. immediately they got back on. So it's like, Klopp didn't let them see like, yo, we're in, yeah, we're in deep dumb. shit right now. Yeah. And he just jumped and said, yeah, I'm out. Yeah, he said, I got <laughs> you back to the, stick around Yeah, I got you back yeah, to the Champions yeah, League. But right now, yeah. Arsenal, after this season, he's going to see like, yo, I got a lot of work to do. Yeah. It's looking yeah. peak right now. Yeah. So, mm, again, I wish him the best. Cause it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's tough, isn't it? Okay, brilliant. We can end the podcast there. It oh, is brilliant. currently... It works. Yeah, we haven't... We've, it's only been 15 minutes into the Man United Tottenham gate. It's 1-0 to Tottenham, just to let you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Brendan bye Johnson. Bye to yeah, Brendan Johnson. Brendan Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That oh, negative yeah. reinforcement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, constructive criticism works in a way, I guess, for Brendan Johnson. But thank you for watching. Thank you to Luca for coming back onto the appreciate podcast. Sure. We appreciate that. Thank you to Ali as well for being here if you enjoy that make sure you like share subscribe to us make sure you comment make sure you vote for us at the football content awards and we'll see you at the next one